Hi there, this is Thaddeus True from Trinity Web Hosting on Joomla J Advanced tutorial number two. Now, if you have not seen our first tutorial yet and you do not have a calendar on your website or do not know how to put our calendar on your website that looks like this one right here with Joomla 1.5 J Advanced, then please go back to our first tutorial and learn how to put a calendar on your website before taking this tutorial. Now, this tutorial is on creating categories, which are required for creating events on your calendar. Now, uh, as you can see, we're back on the J Events control panel, and there are six, still six menu items on this control panel. And today we're going to look at manage categories, which is the third one over from the left. Now, when you go to manage categories, you will see that there is a default category and that's it. In the default category, the color is gray. Now that's fine as long as you want all of your events to be the same color and have the um, same category. However, most people would probably like to have different colors for different events. Different events. So, for instance, you create different categories for each event. So, for instance, say you wanted to create a monthly event. So you type in the title monthly, and then you pick a color for monthly. So for monthly, I am going to pick red. And you can add a description, and all, um, or do anything you want with all these other ones. But they're really not important um, to specifics of creating events. So we're not going to deal with any of them today. Any descriptions you put here will relate directly to the category, not any events within the category. So they will not show up on your calendar. Those descriptions will show up later. One thing you can do is you can publish it here, which means that right away you can create events in this category. Otherwise, you have to come back and publish it once you've created the events. So just hit save once you've created your category. And now you'll see that above monthly, there's or above default, there's also a monthly category. Now, if you want, you can create a couple more. So, for instance, say you wanted a weekly category. And you just pick another color, say uh, blue. And see, I forgot to publish it. So, in order to make sure it's published, I can go over here where there's this red X. And I can click on the red X, and now it will be published. And I'm going to create one more category just to make sure you know how it's done. So, I'm going to create a yearly category. And for that color, I'm going to use green. And then I remember to hit published. And I hit save. And see, there I am done. And now, if I want to create events, I go back to the control panel. But we'll talk about that on our subsequent tutorial. Thank you for joining us today. This is Thaddeus Drew from Trinity Web Hosting.